The Ministry of Antiquities in Egypt has been reopening several sites in the last couple of years. They were closed down due to poor security following the Egyptian Revolution of 2011. Here's Yasser Hakim with the details. This week saw the reopening of a pharaonic site in Minya, south of Cairo. The Bani Hassan site is a series of tombs from the 16th dynasty of Upper Egypt. The tomb area is where the rulers of the 11th and the 12th ruling family of the dynasty were buried. Some of the workers who constructed the tombs are also buried here. The tomb is the latest in a number of sites that have been reopened recently, such as Malawi Museum. The museum was looted and 50 of its statues were destroyed after the 2011 uprising. The revolution when it started in Egypt, January 25th, 2011, almost everything stopped in the Ministry of Antiquities. The main source of the income, those are the tourists. The tickets that they pay in our sites, this is the income that we use for constructing our museums. This is the amount of money that we use for excavations, for consolidations, for restoration, for all of our work. Once the revolution started, everything almost stopped. The restoration of security and stability in the last two years has enabled the government to showcase more of its ancient treasures. This is a good opportunity for the visitors to witness the beauty of our civilization and the lovely natural scenery around us. It's obviously clear that the security situation is at its best at the moment and there is no more concern to mention. Our guests will then go back home, post pictures of their trip on social media for all to see. And more museums are expected to be opened in 2019. What we are planning to continue in 2019 are other museums. I believe more than six or seven museums. One of them is Sharm el Sheikh, one Burgada Museum, also Museum in Tanta, in Kafr el Sheikh. We have a lot, that's what we do. And for the gem, the Grand Egyptian Museum, that was stopped for quite a long time after the revolution. We started again in 2016, and we believe that by the end of this year, 2019, will be finished as constructions. Tourism is a major source of hard currency revenue for the government. In 2018, it had witnessed a 55% increase year on year. The government says the reopening of several sites would help increase the number of visitors to the country and support the rejuvenated tourism industry. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.